Well, telling them what we're doing. I'm taking you all to see my local dealer. You're going to the local dealer. You're not supposed to do that, Zachary. Turn! That's really good. Try. That's my hand. There you go. All right, we've officially arrived at our local dealer, Britfix. And so we're gonna go in and stock up on some supplies for future episodes, as well as give you some shots of what they have available so that you can tell us what you wanna see us try in future videos. Let's go. Welcome to Britfix, located in Goldsboro, North Carolina, our one-stop shop for all British and UK snacks. So without further ado, let's do. Our first stop along the way is going to be the beverage aisle. And the first thing that catches my eye is the Vimto, uh, which we originally thought was called Vim2. Um, we've had this flavor in Jelly Babies, I believe it was. What is that flavor? Mm -hmm. It's oh, Vimto. Right. <laughs> Vimto. <laughs> and then, of course, as seen in a previous episode of ours, the Cadbury Drinking Chocolate. Uh, which we did try and ultimately decided that we did not put enough drinking chocolate in there from the get-go uh, So we learned our lesson, but right beside that is uh, Horlicks, there's no way I'm saying that right, right? Uh, is that like a competition to Cadbury? Let us know in the comments just a little bit further over uh, You will see iron brew which we have also tried um, decided it tasted a little bit like butterscotch, maybe orange jello. <laughs> but what's really catching my eye is the bubblegum flavored bar. I've not heard of that brand before, uh, but we have apparently at our local dealer bubblegum flavor and shandy aid, whatever that is. And while we've tried a handful of UK sodas at this point, obviously based upon what's on the shelf, we still have a lot of work to do. So if you see anything here that looks interesting, let us know. Next stop, we go to the chocolate bar aisle where, yes, there is apparently a Cadbury chocolate bar with raisins. And then, of course, the Whisper bar, which we just recently tried on our channel. By unanimous decision, the Whisper Cadbury UK. Okay. Then there are some that we have not tried, such as the Boost, the Twirl and what appears to be Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations. So that sounds intriguing. Let us know if you've tried any of these and which one you would recommend. Turkish Delight. Oh, get that. Somebody told us we had to try that. So we have had some viewers tell us that we needed to try Turkish Delights. However, the only thing that concerns me is that no one has told us we should try them because they are really good. A little side note is the Mars bar pictured here, uh, apparently also found in the UK, the exact same Mars bar that we have in the US? Let us know. Also found this fun little sign that was on sale, but at the very bottom is what I really had the question about. Fancy a Bicky or a Bissy? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what is a Bissy? <laughs> I do have to say, we are a little bit confused by people who comment and say, you know, you don't like the Cadbury chocolate because it's not real Cadbury chocolate. Um, but we don't have these Cadbury products over here in, in the U.S. So is it not real Cadbury chocolate? Like, is there something we're missing? We're just at a loss every time we get those comments. So if someone could elaborate, that'd be great. Wow. What is that? All right, next we start to transition into what appears to be a biscuit slash cracker slash cookie aisle uh, with everything from Elite Special Moments chocolate biscuit bars to the original Jaffa Cakes. Now Jaffa Cakes are something that we have heard about a lot, so we're definitely picking some of these up today. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, stop staring at my bottom, turn me around. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is quite possibly my favorite aisle, and that would be the sweets aisle, or candies as we would call them here. Um, we've tried a few of the things featured here. Some good. Oh, 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 my. Well, oh wow. And some bad. Oh, tastes like a bar of soap. 
But do us a favor, take a look at our selection here and let us know something we absolutely have to try. A couple of things here that immediately stick out that we've not yet tried. A Haribo Authentic Pontefract. I've never heard that word a day in my life before. What on earth is a Pontefract? And then right beside it, you can try Uncle Joe's Mint Balls. I'm sorry, that just doesn't sound good. There's lots of like mint assortment candies, like things that you would find in like your grandmother's candy dish on her coffee table. And then straubs and giant straubs. So we do have Haribo over here, but definitely never seen those products. Are they good? Let us know. Next up is what we would call the chip aisle. However, when in Rome, so the crisp aisle. Now this is where things get just a little bit confusing as we've found that within this small little area of crisps, um, they are from numerous regions of the UK. So it can be a little difficult at first glance to know what comes from where. Uh, normally we just go based upon what the flavor profile is and if it's interesting. A couple of things to make mention of here that really caught our attention, these frazzles. Um, I assume this is like just a bacon flavored crisp but it also looks like it's cut into the shape of bacon which is absolutely incredible also let's not forget the time that we tried the love it or hate it marmite crisps it is better than the twiglet yes. yeah uh, not much though and then these guinness rich chili thick hand cut now this says potato chips so uh something tells me that that is not uh, British. <laughs> um, and I don't think we got a picture or a video of it, but there is a tomato ketchup Walker's crisp that is getting put in the basket. As we start to wrap up the tour today, take a look at some of the items found within the freezer. There's literally so much to choose from in here. I don't know what to go for first. So we've not tried anything out of either one of these freezers yet. Take a look, let us know what we should try, as well as some of these savory items, uh, some of the soups and whatnot. And they also have a section for teas. Now that's something that we've had requested, but honestly, I don't know where to start. So point us in the right direction. If you see anything here that is a standout, please let us know. Also, one of the big perks of our local dealer is they take product requests, and so we can make a request for an item at the front desk, and they'll put it on their list of future shipments. So if there's anything that you've not seen today that you think we absolutely need to get our hands on, please let us know. We will let them know and see if they can get that shipped over to us. Uh, the ball is in your court. Let us know what do we need to try next, what do we need to steer clear of, and hey, if you've not seen us try some of the products that I mentioned in today's video, be sure to go back and look at some of our previous episodes on trying crisps, trying soda, candies, all of the above. We'd like to thank you for watching Blanks No One Asked For, and certainly no one asked for this. But wait, there's more. Still got that itch for more Blanks No One Asked For? Click that bottom left video down there to see the content that YouTube thinks would be the best for you.